Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Long Dark on this, our interloper playthrough. This is episode 54, and uh, we left off in the cave here. This is the cave that, uh, let's see, where are we? Uh, we're in the cave that connects to, up to Mountain Town, that's right. Let's take a look at the weather today. Ooh, wow. It is looking good. I like that. Beautiful morning here. Forlorn muskeg. Uh, still pretty cold. Uh, I'm going to head inside just to make sure we have all of our gear. And I'm going to tell you what our plans are for today. I have done a lot of thinking. And uh, this is based a lot on the feedback you guys have given me. I did a poll recently on our channel, and uh, you guys gave a lot of really good feedback on what you think we should do next. So the options are that we could go to we could go to um, Bleak Inlet. Uh, of course, they have timber wolves. So that's probably a bad idea because I'm not level five archery. Let's see our, our archery currently. Archery, we're slowly getting there, about just under halfway, it looks like, to level five. Uh, we're slowly creeping up there. Okay, and equally, equally um, as dangerous is to go to uh, Black Rock, because again, there are timber wolves, right? Um, okay, so last option that I think we should do is go to Hushed River Valley. Uh, HRV Hushed River Valley is uh, just around the corner here, the other end of the cave, and then up through Mountain Town, and so we're very close to that. However, we also are lacking one very important item that we are ready to craft up, which is the bearskin bedroll. Okay, now, before I tell you about the bearskin bedroll, let me get on the move. So, give me a sec to figure out what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to leave these here. we got water. Let's check our water situation. 2.83. We're doing really good for water. I don't need any more water. What am I carrying? that I could drop here. Let's go through. I think I have everything I want to carry with us. I'm just going to make sure. Okay. Clothing's looking pretty good. Food's looking okay. We do have the heavy hammer, which I want to drop off at the poacher's camp. Um, that's actually where we're going to head right now. Okay, and we do have our birch sapling. Okay, I got all our saplings. Okay, we're ready to go, guys. I could, you know, I could probably drop the sticks. Not a bad idea. Let's drop some of those sticks right here. Okay, I'll, I know I'm going to be picking up sticks on the way out. Okay. Now, um, you know, I should have got a fire started from that daylight. Now, here, let's get a drink real quick. I'm going to try to use my mag lens. Yeah, beautiful morning here. Okay, we're going to use a mag lens here. Um, doesn't really matter where I do it, I guess. I could do it right here. Oh, I like that. Okay, we're saving a match. That's always, always nice. Uh, whoa! <laughs> I meant to click on the fire, and now we have traveled outside, or back in the cave. Alright, let's try this again. I think I may have put our, our fire a little too close here. Let's see if I can just click on the fire. There we go. Uh, no, not the cave. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Um, let's add some fuel. Okay, really, we just need to warm up some tea. That's all I need to do. Uh, you know, I'm just going to drop some tea right by the fire here. Okay, well that's warming up, guys. Here, let me let me try to continue my thought. Now I have a bunch of ptarmigan feathers. Let's see how many we have now. We got twelve. 
Got a nice amount. I think, uh, okay, I've done a lot of thinking about this. So, so uh, I welcome your feedback here. But here's a long, long thought process that's taken me to, to get to this conclusion. I'm actually going to craft up, using the ptarmigan feathers, I'm going to craft up the replacement to the wool ear wraps, which is the insulated, I don't know what you call that. Some kind of new ins improvised insulation, something like that. Um, we're going to save our ptarmigan feathers for that, and I think I'm going to craft that up at the uh, trapper's cabin. Okay, let's go ahead and drink a tea. We'll grab these. Let's get a fire lit here. Torch. Okay, nice. Alright, so... Man, it just looks so nice today. Looks really nice. Um, so, thinking back about the the bedroll situation, I could use the ptarmigan feathers to try to craft the improvised or the uh, the insulated bedroll. And here is why I've decided not to do that, um, because the improvised insulated bedroll wears out pretty quickly well I don't know, it wears out quicker than normal and it's really expensive to try to repair you've got to have five ptarmigan feathers and some cloth so it's going to wear out quicker and you got to repair it more often um, the bearskin bedroll however provides 12 degrees of warmth okay it is heavier it's three it's three kilograms a normal bedroll is one kilogram, and the improvised bedroll is just a tiny bit heavier at 1.1 kilograms. So, bearskin bedroll is three kilograms, normal bedroll is one, down is 1.1. But the bearskin bedroll provides 12 degrees warmth bonus. The down, the down bedroll provides eight degrees, and the standard bedroll is. Um, five degrees okay anyway bearskin bedroll is heavier but it's going to be more durable and i don't have to kill the ptarmigans we already have some bear bearskin bear hides uh, around i'll probably be killing more bears as well you know um but the number one reason why we are going to make the bearskin bedroll is because it is badass it just sounds cool it looks cool and we look at this guys we are covered head to toe so far well not head okay we cho chose not to get the the rabbit hat yet but we are covered in deerskin boots we got our deerskin pants we got a wolf coat we got a bear coat we got the rabbit mitts i mean astrid looks amazing she is she is miss mountain man here you think she's going to be carrying around an improvised down bedroll no, no, no. She's going to have a bearskin bedroll that says, don't mess with me. That's what she's going to do. That's her, I think that's her personality. Oh. Can't even get across here. Do I have on the crampons, by the way? Alright, we're putting on the crampons. So that is the number one reason. It's because Astrid deserves a bearskin bedroll. She's going to get a bearskin bedroll. All right, well, that brings a whole new set of problems that I've had to think about because although we have lots of bearskin bedrolls, or sorry, although we have lots of bearskins cured, we have three. We have three cured bearskins spread out across the map, but they are so spread out. We're kind of in trouble there with the bearskins. Okay, so we have one bearskin way out at the Kwanzaa Garage in Coastal Highway. It's way too far. We have another cured bearskin near, let's see, it's, it's right by the abandoned prepper's cache. Can we make it across here? Oh, you know, I'm just going to go this way. We have another cured bearskin in the little cave by the abandoned prepper's cache. Um, and I thought about maybe going over there, uh, just because it's kind of close to the the coal, the uh, Cinder, Cinder Hills coal mine, I think. 
Um, and we could use a lot more coal, but that also is pretty far. Um, and of course, we ha we do have a third cured bear skin. And it's actually not too far from us. It's in the uh, trapper's cabin. Okay, I'm, I'm looking. I see some birch bark here. I gotta grab this. And trapper's cabin's really close. The problem, of course, is um, we need two. We need two bear skins. So, what I think we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our uncured bear skin that is here at the poacher's camp, right behind me over there, at the uh, red at the red caboose or whatever that is, red uh, box car. We're gonna go over and grab the uncured bear skin. We'll drop it off at the tra trapper's cabin. We'll drop it off to cure right next to our other bear skin that's there. And I think while we're there, we're going to craft up our improvised uh, insulation. And then we can leave that bearskin there curing. Whoa. <laughs> we can leave the improvised bearskin curing while we head back to Hushed River Valley. And uh, we're going we're gonna to do Hushed River Valley, guys. And that will give us plenty of time for the bearskins to cure and be all ready for us to uh, make a bearskin bed roll. What do you think? I think that's a plan. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna head over to the uh, poacher's camp. Somebody has poached a bear right by poacher's camp and left us a hide. Can you believe that? Somebody just left a bear hide over here at poacher's camp. And we're going to take it, we'll get it curing. Nice, and uh, thank you guys, by the way, I appreciate your feedback. So I put out that poll to find out what you guys wanted to do, and uh, you know, a lot of you guys were really concerned for my welfare, and <laughs> I rightly so, right? You're like, don't go to the timber wolves, you're going to die. <laughs> and I probably will, because uh, we're not level 5 archery. And sometimes, sometimes I think I'm better than I actually am. Can you believe that? And I do stupid things that almost get me killed. And I don't think the timber wolves are going to be very forgiving. They're not going to leave us with a little bit of health to, to uh, crawl away and recover. They're, they're going to finish us off, I think. So It's probably smart for me to wait before we uh, try to take on timber wolves. And somebody also commented that in Hushed River Valley there is a bear skin that is possible. Like it's a, I don't know if it's guaranteed, uh, but there is a bear skin in uh, Hushed River Valley, so we could also grab that. Uh, hey, this is so nice. What a pleasant sight to come back here and see all this delicious meat. It's so nice. So nice. All right, we're gonna leave our, we're gonna leave the meat here. Now we should have the bear skin. What's the condition on this? Twenty-eight percent. Yeah, I was worried about that, guys. I was worried about the condition, but I don't think it really matters in the long run. All right, how's our water looking? Should be okay. Of course, our teas are probably all cold, yeah. Um, what's the temperature like out here? It's just barely, barely cold. I think we're okay just to press on, honestly. Oh, and the, yeah, the weather is so nice today. Perfect day for traveling. Should I grab these? Yeah, I think I will. You know, I might leave a bunch of cattails here. How many cattails do we have? 38 cattails. Huh? 
You know, I might leave some cattails here. It's a lot of sticks. Okay, let's uh, let's stop in the camp here. I'm gonna drop these sticks for us. Take a couple, and then uh, I'm gonna drop the cattails. We'll take 15 with us. And I think we are eventually going to need those um, as we travel back that direction. Eventually, we're going to make our way to the, uh, the far territories. And I think we're going to need a lot of food there. Food and fuel is what you guys are saying. We gotta, it's going to be really cold, and there's not a lot of food. I can't feel my hands... Um, one other thing I learned about the uh, Hushed River Valley is, uh, although there is a lot of loot there, there is pretty much no cloth and what else? There is also no something else. Um, I'll think of it in a minute. Yeah, I just forgot. Whatever it was, I just forgot. There's two two items that it's missing. It doesn't have any of cloth as one of them. Of course, there's no buildings there at all. All right, I'm gonna grab these. I'm curious if there is coal though in Hush River Valley. One more. I'm gonna lose my torch though. Okay, I should probably make a fire here, just to get more torches. <laughs> Whoops. Let's pick that up. Uh, I do need some more. How many How many rocks do we have? Three? Okay, we're good. Um, I would drink almost anything about now. What else were they missing in Hush River Valley? There was something else. And when I learned that, I'm like, oh yeah, I, I gotta tell the guys about that. You, I mean, you probably already know. You could tell me what it's missing. Okay, sticks. I do need some sticks now. There's a stick. Although I could make a fire with the uh, mag lens, of course. If this goes out, it's not that big a deal. Ooh. Might have some birch bark up here. sticks down there okay torch has gone out I'll just leave it over here just in case we need it later Okay, let's get a drink. Let's 
Looks like there's a bunch of sticks over here. Oh, weather's changing. Let's hurry. Dang it, I was too late. <laughs> I was too slow. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. Just that quick. The weather changed. I should have known. Well, we're making our way back home. It's right around the corner. And yeah, I don't have any torches. Well, shoot. Should have used the mag lens. I'm gonna bite the bullet guys. I, I will use a match here. Let's do it. Let's get warm and get some uh, uh, We'll get some torches out of this Come on, little fire. Okay, it's had some fuel here drop our teas. You know, I'm going to cook some tea here. Let's get some torches. Yeah, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Okay. Let's drink up. Oh, I guess that wasn't done yet. All right. Now we have some protection. And we're warm. We're not taking damage. See, I, I can slowly learn. Like, uh, I think I, I, think I uh, learned my lesson. Stop taking damage. Get warm. Get some protection. Uh, and that's thanks to you guys giving me feedback. There's a deer. I thought I heard a deer. Do we want to mess with him? We have lots of meat. I don't think I want to mess with him right now. I do believe we have some meat back at the uh, trapper's cabin. If he happens to run into a wolf, I'll probably go take the meat, but I'm not going to hunt him. Looks like we got some good birch bark out of that.
And you know, the uh, the cave right by um, Trapper's Cabin here does lead us to Mountain Town. I wonder if it'd be quicker just to go through that to uh, get to the Hush River Valley. Might be quicker. I'm surprised we didn't get any deer spawn in this area. I think we can... Oh, there's one. Okay. I think we can have up to like three or maybe even four deer just like in this little valley here. I might try to get this guy. He's pretty close to camp here. girl I should say okay I'm gonna learn a trick you guys said to do we go into our inventory let's drop our torch that we have lit let's get out our bow wait for the deer to eat put his head down Is he gonna get too close to us or is she let's wait for her to put her head down and then we stand up and shoot She never put her head down. <laughs> All right, well, we did get a good shot off. Um, All right, let's go see if we can track this deer. Uh, but that's a nice trick to know about. You drop the torch through your inventory and then it uh, doesn't scare the deer. Well, where did you run off to? Well, we might, we might have to come back and look for it another time. I just heard something. I don't see any footprints over here. Must not have come over here, I guess. But where did you go, dear? Lately, it seems whenever I shoot an animal, they run to the edge of the map where they're most likely to disappear or glitch out or something. Seems like that's where they go. Did you circle back, dear? Like where? Did the blood sign already disappear? That was so fast.
Yeah, I guess the new snow covered it up. That's probably what happened. All right, let's just head back in. Let's head up this way. We'll go around the back side. Yeah, for me personally, I think deer are one of the harder animals to, to hunt in this game. They do seem a bit hard compared to some of the other animals. Uh, let's eat the uh, let's eat the small pieces first. Okay. You know, I'm going to take these in. Let's cook these up. Yeah, my mouse is not clicking real properly. I might need to replace my mouse here pretty soon. Let's get a fire going. Oh, it feels good to be back at Trapper's Cabin. Come on, little fire. Hey, we do have a little bit of coal here. That's nice. Uh, what? Okay. All right, let's drop this bear hide. I got the cured moose hide. I thought I... Do we have a bear hide here? Come on, mouse. Okay, we do have a cured black bear hide. Okay, that's great. Let's put the moose hide in here. May as well. Cured birch sapling, cured maple sapling. You know, it'll probably be good to make a bow. And I don't have any more arrowheads to uh, make any more these although I could take I could take some and just craft up some uh, some shafts all right let's drop our bear hide to cure where are you bear hide all right let's drop this and we'll drop our saplings Okay, nice. And all these guts are cured? That's great. Hey, okay, we are a bit... Uh, wait, what condition is this? 61%. Okay. We are a bit low on fuel. That's the only problem. And I hate to use coal. You guys know me. Okay, so that's going to take 22 minutes. That's going to take 39 minutes. Sure, let's do it. I might have to add some coal. At any rate, how much water do we have? No water. Let's get some water cooking. All right, I'm going to do it. Uh, 
Okay, we should have about a probably about an hour, I would say. So we do want to craft up. Um, do we want to do the bow? Let's just grab all those. Okay. So a bow is going to take six hours. Yeah, I'll do I'll do an hour. Okay. Really glad I'm not outside right now. Sounds like quite a storm. Cook some more water. And over here I'm gonna cook the last of our meat. Oh, we have two. Oh, no, those are cooked. Right? Um, moose meat cooked. I thought I had one additional piece of meat. Wait, why does it say it's cooked? Am I just heating it up? So we do have raw moose meat, and then these two are cooked. Uh, I don't understand what's going on. At any rate, we have, uh, oh, six minutes. Huh, you're gonna make me use more coal? Let's do it. 38 minutes. Let's work for a half hour on our bow. Let's do another half hour. Uh, we do have one more raw meat, right? Yeah, that's it. Moose meat cooked. Oh, that. So I think I was looking at the wrong thing. This is if I cook it, right? But currently it's raw. Okay. Alright, I'm going to do it. We'll add the last stick. And that will give us one last half hour on our bow. and eat that. Okay, fire is out. And I want to put these materials in here. So we've got the cured deer, cured guts. A 
Let's keep two. I'm going to keep two cured guts. And uh, cured rabbit pelt. I'm going to take one of those. Okay. Um, you know, I should have dropped the uh, heavy hammer at the... I should have dropped the heavy hammer at the uh, poacher's camp. Although we could use this to craft up some acorns here. We could use the... yeah, we could use the heavy hammer. Um, might just be time for bed. Let's look at our situation here. Ooh, got the jerry can. I'm going to drop that here. Good to know that's here. The torch is just about out. You know, I should have taken more torches um, when I had the chance out of the stove here. Let's go drop this meat outside. I'm going to see if there's any firewood nearby. Okay, let's drop all this meat. There's probably not going to be any firewood, is there? Alright, let's head inside. See if I can start a fire with this torch. And it went out. Okay. Well, that answers that question. Alright, let's see how many torches we have that I could harvest. Okay, so in the morning we could uh, we could craft up we could either craft some torches or I could make a fire and uh, could go from there. Let's, you know I do want to drop these, drop those stems. We only need two stems. We only need maybe two flares. Okay, wow, we got eight liters of water. Drop six. Six liters were lightweight again. Nice. All right, let's see if I can craft up some stuff before we go to sleep. Let's get a drink. Okay, I think that's about it. Now here's the insulation I was talking about. Improvised insulation. Simple base layer made from down feathers. Warms the core when equipped. So I think you can wear this instead of the the uh, the hat, the, the ear wraps. And it's going to take five time again down. It only takes an hour. Nice. Okay. I don't think we can do it in the dark though, can we? Yeah, it's too dark. Okay, so we'll do that in the morning. I think we can head to sleep now. Uh, let's get a drink. And I'll see you guys in the morning. And we just about have some daylight. It's almost sunrise. Nice. All right, guys. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna exit the game and save my video. I'll be right back. All right. First thing, let's get a drink. Okay. We might be able to craft. So we got four hours left on the bow, or I could switch to doing the. Uh, Insulation. Let's see where it is. Hmm. 
Where did it go? Do I need the do I need the crafting table for that? Maybe I don't need the crafting table. Yeah, okay. So let's see, it's gonna take oh it's only gonna take one hour. Alright, we'll do this one first. Hopefully it's light enough. We can try it. Yeah, it worked out. Alright, let's try this out. See how it, how well it does. Alright, so we're gonna switch to this, so we're 0 0.9 degrees centigrade for the wool ear wrap. So if we go to here, hey, two degrees, nice. Okay, it's kind of a weird shape, you know. The icon, I guess you just kind of balance it on top of your head, maybe, or something. I don't know. Looks kind of funny. Not sure how that works. Okay. At any rate, we can put our uh, let's put our wool wraps in here. Okay, now we can we can focus on our uh, our bow. All right, let's try it. I'm gonna stop halfway. Let's get a drink. Okay, nice. So we should have three bows now. Yeah, I've got 100%, 43%, and 34%. So, um, I guess I'll leave the 100% one here. Or should we, you know, maybe I'll leave the 43. Let's leave the 43. Kind of nice to have two decent quality ones. Whoa, a little bit of lag there. Where can we put this? It's over here. So we could put it in the locker. Do that. Okay, guys. I uh, wonder how the weather is. I can hear the wind blowing outside. Got the saplings. How's our water? Let's take one of these. Let's put these up here. taking that anyway. Let's just pick it up now. Okay, it's looking good. Um, I might want to drop these.
So do you use the carrots in an ingredient like uh, when you when you make something or do you just like cook the carrots and eat it? Okay. How are we doing for cloth? We've got so we don't need all that leather, but I do need more cloth, I think. Okay, let's put the leather in here. Keep one leather. Uh, I do need to get some more cloth here pretty soon. Hmm, do we want to stop by the camp office to uh, to get some more uh, fabric, you know, some cloth? We'll get two cloth from that. You know, maybe I'll break this down. We'll get two cloth and six firewood. We need firewood for this building anyway. Let's break it down. Okay, I'll drop the wood over here. Can you eat trees? Because I'm gonna... I'm gonna eat a tree. Okay, we got two sticks, um, five coal. Take a piece of coal. Let's get a drink. All right, let's see what the weather's like. Not too bad. Let's eat up and uh, see if we can find our deer that we shot. Otherwise, we'll just head out. Okay, weather's actually not too bad temperature wise. It's looking pretty good. Ooh, here comes a storm. Huh, <laughs> the game is like, uh uh, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, they do that all the time. I'll we'll see if we have any rabbits. Is that some birch bark? Oh. Three sticks, two sticks on top of each other. That's where twigs come from. Okay. How many rabbits? Here, rabbit, rabbit. All right, I'm gonna try it, guys. Let's do let's do our fire hardened arrows. I'm starting to feel numb. What? <sighs> Where 
Where'd you go, little rabbit? Did he leave footprints? There he is. Okay, I'm gonna watch the white dot right there. How did he see me? I was holding still. Oh, come on, rabbit. Got him. Thank you, little guy. Got any more rabbits? Okay, we are taking a lot of damage. Let's head back inside. We got warmed up. Harvest our rabbit. And we did get a little bit of sticks out of that. Let's see if I took any damage on our clothing. I'm kind of curious about that. How's our 100%? Okay. I was kind of worried about that. Although the moose side satchel probably protects it. We're down to 77 on our hat. I might bring a deer skin with us. Although, do I need when I do repairs on our boots? Do we need a uh, do we need a repair table? Let me grab one of those deer skins. Nice. Okay, I don't need us. I don't need a repair table. So that's good to know. A crafting table, a workbench, whatever, whatever that thing is. Okay, let's uh, let's harvest up our rabbit. I'm also curious how our bear hide's doing. Nine percent. Yeah, it's gonna be a while. Gonna take some time. Sounds like the storm may have passed. I'm gonna go check. Let's uh, let's drink up. Let's see what the weather's like. This might be good traveling weather. Not bad. Uh, I'm gonna drop the raw meat out here. Okay, I think this might be our opportunity to travel. So, if that's the case, let's see. Um, 
Let me just do one quick check through our inventory. Looks good. I'm going to leave some matches here. We don't have any torches, right? I gotta remember to take to, to uh, make some torches next time we have a fire. Okay, I think I'm ready to set out, guys. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit more wood because we're gonna need to make some uh, torches. So we got two of those, thirteen of those. Okay, I think I will drop some of the sticks, maybe. Okay, I think I'm ready to set out. Let's go for it. Oh yeah, that cleared up pretty nicely. Um, I would like to find that deer. Be nice if the uh, crows came out. Okay, so I'm going to listen for crows. Uh, but otherwise, we're going to try to make our way back to the uh, Hushed River Valley. Well, by way of Mountain Town. We'll go through... Wait, did, do we want to go through the cave there? I don't know. We'll head this way. We'll check on that deer. I'm really hoping the crows come out. It's a fire pit, okay. Don't tell me we have another storm coming in. Don't hear any crows. All right. Well, we'll make our way down. We'll keep an eye out for some birch bark. We got an animal up there. Maybe that might be our deer. Seems like the animals, once you get, well, if you shoot them, seems like they always make for the edge of the map when they die. Do have some crow feathers. Okay, we are protected. Hey, we got our arrow back. We are protected from the wind right here. Can we make a fire? There we go. We can make a fire here. All right. I'm, oh, I was going to say, I was going to use a torch. 
we don't have a torch. Uh, so we'll use our fire striker. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's put that away. First thing, I do want to get at least one torch out of there before I do anything else. Oh guys, outside my window in real life here, it is raining so hard and thundering. Man, it is really coming down. Okay, we got 31 minutes on the fire. Let's add some more fuel. Let's go for it. Feels like night is coming. Okay, I don't actually want to cook all this up. I do want to leave it here for the future. Let me kind of spread it out so I can see it better when we come through here. Kind of hard to miss. Okay. Um, you know, I might actually want to cook some of this up. Okay. We've got 40 minutes. That's probably good, right there. Um, I don't think I'll go for the guts. Wait, guts are like 10 minutes, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bring the guts. All right, let's take some more torches. If I can drop any of this gear. That's a good good torch right there. Okay, last torch. Um, let's eat up. Get a drink. Ooh, you know, I should cook some tea as well. Let's drop some tea here. Okay, um, seven minutes left. I'm going to put this out. Let's drop some of these torches. Ok, 
Okay, get a drink. Alright. Thank you, dear. Appreciate the food. You know what? I'm gonna bring the food with me. Just to the uh, just to the tunnel, I think. Possibly to poachers, I don't know. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Yep. We're gonna attract wolves, that's fine. Got our uh, lit torch. Weather's good. Not too worried about it. Yeah, I just hope the weather stays clear and uh, the wind doesn't pick up. I think this meat's going to be a lot more useful up here on the train tracks as we go back and forth through here. I got some water here. What's our water situation? 1.78 liters. Let's grab it. Okay, forlorn muskeg. We have returned. This time, I need to remember to drop the he the heavy hammer inside the uh, poacher's camp. Hello, Wolfie. Hey, we got some delicious meat. Don't come with us. Like a storm is coming. Come on, Wolfie. I'll keep an eye on him. Did he give up? He gave up. That was weird. Is there like an invisible wall there or something? He probably knows my tactic, you know. Oh, he's coming, he's coming, all right. My tactic is uh, we're gonna, we're gonna invite him over for dinner. Come all the way over to the poacher's camp here. Or I'll just scare him away. Either way, it's fine. All right, we're getting close.
Okay, we made it to Poacher's Camp. Let's see if I can get him to come through here. Are you wolf? I missed him. All right. Well, it all works out. Uh, where did you go, Arrow? Why am I missing that? Where? I need it to hover in the air, like the other arrows. Wait, there it is. Okay, so we got uh, we got here safely to Poacher's Camp. Let's drop our heavy hammer first thing. I will forget if I don't drop it. Um, I'm also gonna drop the, let's see. Oh wait, that's my torch, right? Yeah. Let's get a new torch. Okay, let's drop that. And I'll keep the other ones. I think that's all we need to drop. I, You know, I probably should take this and harvest it up for cloth. Okay, I think we're good, guys. Let's just, let's move on. I'm going to take some Whoa, a little bit of lag there. Let's eat some food. Okay, I'm going to leave that meat here. Ooh, more lag. Okay, I'm going to save my game. Can I do that? Well, shoot. Um, this could be a problem. Huh. I'm just going to press on. That's all there is to it. See if we can make it to the cave. Can I make it across here? No, can't. Okay. Let's see. Let's try over here. Now, do I have my crampons? Let's put these on. I can't feel my feet. One, two, three, four. Oh gosh, that was <laughs> kind of freaky. Kind of close, kind of risky. I just want to go there before the storm gets worse. It's uh, it's really picking up. The uh, visibility is dropping fast. Let's get up to this cave. Hopefully my computer doesn't crash. It's kind of peaceful. Have you, have you ever walked in a heavy snowstorm like this before? I actually really like it. There was one time I walked through a really heavy snowstorm and it was lightning. There was thunder and lightning all over the place. And uh, it was actually pretty, pretty cool.
Um, so you wouldn't be able to see very far. It's kind of like this, right? Ooh. But then every once in a while in the distance, you'd see big cracks of, uh, big cracks, cracks of lightning. Okay, I'm really just trying to keep an eye out for the river. Is this the river? No. So we will walk up here and over. No, I'm just going to stay by the water. I will get turned around and get lost if I don't. So we'll stay by the water here. Get a torch out. Whoa. Get a torch out. Tell you what, my mouse is doing weird things lately. I think I need to replace it. Okay, I'm going to keep the water on my left. And when we come to the stream, is this the stream? Nope. Um, hello there, cattails. All right, I'll take you. All right, no more cattails. Um, I'm going to keep the stream, the uh, water on my left here, and then when it turns into a stream, we'll head up the the mountain. This is not it. Um, you know, I probably could make a fire here. Probably not a bad idea. Let's make a fire just to get some tea. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Let's add some sticks. Actually, probably don't, don't even need to add some sticks. Let's just drop some teas here. Yeah, I just, you know, I'm not happy with my mouse lately. I just clicked on that and it still didn't quite drop the tea. So I will try to come up with a new mouse here. Who knows what kind of problems that's going to cause in the future. So that's ready, that's ready, and that's almost ready. Let's drink up. All right, that's gonna save us from taking damage. Let's get a flare out just in case. This might be our pond or our stream. Although I kind of doubt it. But. Do I if I don't warm him up soon? Okay, I think we found it, guys. We're heading uphill now. Let's drink another tea. Are any of these warm?
Yes, we do. Oh, it is so cold. I want to see. Negative 43. Oh, gosh. And it feels like negative 49. Probably because our clothes are wet. So let's get going. I think we're almost there to the waterfall. Okay, I can see the waterfall up ahead. Okay, we made it, guys. It's just around here, I think. Um, I think I went too far. Just so gotta come over this way. Whoa! made it Astrid let's head inside I can uh, dry out our clothing nice we made it take a few steps in let's take a look at our clothing situation oh nothing's frozen yet but we do have quite a bit of wet clothing nice all right guys um, time of day Ooh, it is late let's see if I can get a bedroll put down here. Where are you, bedroll? You know what? I'm going to get out the lantern. Yep, <laughs> we're facing a rock. Okay. There's our entrance. Let's get our bedroll put down. Put out our lantern. Get a drink. Nice. Okay, guys. Sleeping for 10 hours. And I will see you in the morning. Nice. Okay, so we made it inside the cave. I'm going to head out and back in just to save our game. And I will uh, save my recording as well. All right, guys, I think this is a great place to call it an episode. We are safely back inside the cave, which will take us to the, uh, well, it's, it's going to take us to Mountain Town. And then we can just shoot straight up into. Um, from Mountain Town, we'll go up to Hush River Valley. So thanks for coming along with me, guys. I uh, really enjoyed this episode. I hope you did, too. Um, if, if you did, let me know. Leave a comment. Uh, I always appreciate a thumbs up or uh, even consider subscribing. Uh, and uh, at any rate, this is Sprocket saying thanks for coming along with me, and I do hope to catch you in the next episode. Take care.